Would you like to make a coloring book but have no clue where to start? Perhaps you just want to create some coloring pages to keep the kids busy. Either way, I've got you covered because today I'm going to show you how to make a coloring book page quick and easy. So buckle on up as I walk you through this quick and easy coloring book tutorial. So stick around. Hey Write Riders, Keith Wheeler here, and if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out a new video. Well, who doesn't love to color? Kids, teens, adults, everybody loves the relaxation that comes with sitting down in a quiet place and coloring in a coloring page. Now, you can stay on here on YouTube and search up how to make a coloring book and you'll find tons of great videos, each showing you a completely different way to create a coloring page. Now the rules I wanted to stick with when it comes to this coloring book tutorial was, number one, it had to be quick and easy. I know this day and age that we live in, time is always in short supply. Number two, I wanted to make sure that there was a free option for people who are either on a tight budget or if you're just wanting to know how to make a coloring book for your kids. Number three, that it would generate an image that was good enough for your youngster to at home to color and have fun, but still can be high enough quality that you can make a coloring book to sell if that's what you wanted to do. Okay, so enough jib jab. Let me flip the screen around and I'll show you how to make a coloring book. Well, here we are on Vecteasy, and this is a free site that I like to go to for vector images. You can also go to pixabay.com, you can try Pexels. There are plenty of other sites that you can go to that will provide you vector images for free that are also free for commercial use. Just make sure that you check out the license available. If you want to take it the next step up, you can go to something like Deposit Photos and pay for the image itself. But again, regardless of whether they're free or you pay for them, make sure that you find out the licensing and make sure it's licensed for commercial use if you plan on putting this into a coloring book that you're actually going to try to sell. My book is on animals, so I'm just going to do animals. And what we're looking for is we're looking for an image that has solid lines. Now, ideally, if you can find images where there's multiple images on the same page, that's even better because that ensures that they're going to be the same style type, which will make your book itself look that much more uniform and consistent. So. Uh, this one's got really nice solid lines, uh, so we can we can use this one. We'll just go and we'll download. And there is a paid model, but I'm just going to use the free license. And here we are. You can see right here it says free license. You can click on this attribution required. Um, what this tells you is that, and you can click on it to get information on how, but it means that inside your book you're going to have to attribute where you got the images from. Now if you don't have a page that has enough to for your entire book then one thing that you can do is you can go to info and right here you can see who the creator was and click on their name and see if they've created anything else that you can use. A lot of times if you use the same creator then the, there'll be a lot of consistency throughout their work. But for now, I'm just going to use this image. Now, here we are in GIMP. This is the second part of our free coloring book page creation. And again, it's called GIMP, G-I-M-P. It is a free image editing software. If you have Photoshop, you can feel free to use that. But again, I'm trying to keep the whole thing free. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to create a new page. I'm going to change it to inches. And my book is going to be 8 by 10. And there we go. And I'm not actually going to create my book itself within GIMP. I'm just going to create the coloring book images. So we're going to go in. And now we need to get our image that we downloaded from Vecteezy over here. Now we can do it one of two ways. We can either click File, Open as Layers, and then Browse to our image. Or we can literally just take the image itself and just drag it right on and click OK. And there are images. I just want to work on one image at a time because I'm going to have one image per page in my coloring book. So I'm going to go to Tools, Selection Tools, and I'm going to get the rectangular selection. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle. 
around that first image. We're just gonna work on this little chick right now. And then I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna go to layer, cause I'm working on a layer. And I want to, down here it's actually below screen, you can't see it, but it says crop to selection. And I'm just gonna crop to selection. Uh, I could have done the same thing if I went over here to layer. There's a crop to selection there as well. And the next thing I wanna do is because this, this right here is an eight by 10 page. This is what my coloring book page is gonna look like. This image is way too small. So I need to, again, go to layer and I wanna scale this up. And so if my page is gonna be eight by 10, let's just make this bad boy six inches because I have this locked. As I changed the width, the height changed proportionally. I'm just gonna click scale. Okay, now obviously this is off screen and that's not gonna work. So we'll go to our move tool. It's just a little up and down cross and I'm just gonna drag it and put it to where I want it on the page. Now I can zoom, I'm gonna go to view, zoom, and I'm gonna zoom out just a bit, just so I can place this where I want on the page. It really doesn't matter so much because again, this isn't gonna be the actual page of my book. I just wanna make sure that my image is good enough size to fit on the page. And I think that looks about right. So that's good size. So now we need to do is get rid of all this color. And this is the way you can you go on YouTube and look up a bunch of different ways and they'll show all these complicated ways to do it. And I'm gonna show you a down and dirty, really simple way of doing it. And that is, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna to go to select by color. I'm gonna click on a color and I'm gonna hit the delete button. That was it. Now I'm gonna to go to view and I'm gonna zoom in just because I wanna make sure I get all the different colors and shades of colors. So I'm just gonna to go to 100%. And I can, I can move this to make sure I'm at the different spots on page. And again, I'm just gonna right click, select by color. I'm gonna select the color I want and delete. The color I want and delete. See if there's anything else. Oh, everything else is over, so we're just gonna scroll over a little bit. See if there's any other colors I want to get rid of. Now this particular image was pretty simple, so I think I'm pretty much done. Let's just zoom out. And see how that looks. Yeah, that's pretty. That was a pretty simple one. So again, I I don't need to keep all this white area you can go into Canva, you can get a free account and create your coloring book through Canva. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think the free account only allows up to 30 pages, depending on how big you want your coloring book to be. Canva, the free version may not work for you. I usually make my coloring books using PowerPoint. So again, all I really need is the image itself, this right here. So I'm gonna go to image and I'm gonna say crop to content. And that brings everything down. So I'm literally just left with the actual character. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to export it. And I'm going to export this one as animal underscore chick. And we'll export it. Now I'm just going to hit control Z to bring that main page up. I'm going to click on the layer. I'm going to delete it. And this way I can start working on my next one. Again, I'm just going to bring that image back over, click OK, and I'm going to work on this guy. Tools, selection tools, rectangle, that, right click, layer, here we'll do it over here, layer, crop to selection, okay. Again, I need to make him larger, so I'm going to go to layer. I'm going to scale the layer. I want to be consistent, so I'm going to make this one six inches as well. Scale. Use my move tool. We're going to right click, select, select by color, and again, just click on a color and delete. Click on a color and delete. Now, if you have one that has intricate colors, you may need to go in 
and zoom in to make sure that you're getting all the little nuances. Now see, I just deleted that and that actually gave a little depth to it. So I don't know if I want to leave that in or leave it out. Let's see. So what it looks like without it. Eh, I think that looks good. All right, so this page is done. Again, I'm going to go to the image, crop to content. So I only have my character file import as and I'm just going to call this animal okay and export control Z delete so what if I had a character that was a little more complex than that those two that I just did didn't really have a lot of complex colors so I actually have one that I've done previously actually got it from Bektizi as well and you might have seen it earlier but we're just going to drag and drop that in here these images are bigger so I won't have to blow it up as much but I want to find the rooster because the rooster has a lot of different shading so again we're going to go to the selection tool rectangular selection let's just grab the rooster layer crop to selection there we go we'll go to layer scale the layer Again, we'll make them six inches. Okay. Move tool, let's move them right about there. Okay, so let's get into the different shading. And this is when you probably will want to zoom in a bit. So again, you go to view, you can go to zoom. You can do it at 100%. With the image this big, I'll probably just do 50% for now. And I can go up and I'm just gonna right click select by color and again I'm just gonna go and select the colors delete that color delete and as you can see these have a lot of little intricate colors within them like to for shading so like some of them had a gray behind the actual brown Now you really don't want to do black because otherwise you'll get the outline. Like even within here there was multiple pinks it looks like. So I might actually need to zoom in a bit more. Let's zoom in at 100%. See there's still some pink in here. Hit delete, delete. Now I don't like to take the actual black out of the eye. I think it just looks creepy but I will take the color out. There we go. And I'm just using my scroll wheel to scroll down. See if there's any other colors I want to get rid of. And I'm literally just clicking on the color and I'm hitting delete. That is honestly all I'm doing. Let's get rid of some of these grays. Okay, obviously, like I said, don't want to get rid of the black or we'll literally get rid of our entire outline. Let's see if there's anything else. Now we're going to zoom out. Let's see how this looks. Get rid of the selection. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. And that is how you create coloring book pages for free. Now how easy was that? I'd love to know down in the comments below what type of coloring book you're deciding to do. Now since we're talking about making interiors, if you click right over here, I will show you how to make your own interiors for journals, notebooks, and any other no content book you could think of. Or you can click right on over here and I will show you how to make some really cool puzzle book interiors. So pick one and I'll catch you on the inside of the video. And in the meantime, remember to write right.